So, hey everyone, welcome back to new Juicy Leaks, but this time it's a bit different. What's going on everyone? I'm your host Battlefield Central, be sure to drop a like, I'm providing you here with content for free. And earlier feedback of the tornadoes in Battlefield 2042 are essentially, they're fun and cool to see for the first few times, but they become very repetitive and ruin the classic Battlefield experience and flow of the map. Now a lot of you probably already saw this, but this is why I'm not concerned. This is made by a single user. There's going to be a lot more things than the random tornadoes. These random tornadoes actually do have a specific niche to them, which is destroying buildings. And there's so much news to go on. Simply put, I think whoever made this, you know, who tested the game and made this comment has maybe not played enough to make it seem fun. He only played it maybe for two weeks. He maybe only played it for one week. And I'm not concerned about this. I honestly think tornadoes and everything else is fun. Just imagine how much fun people had in Levolution back in Battlefield 4. And that's what I find pretty exciting, you know? Battlefield 2042 will have way more Levolution and it will be way more random. And it doesn't seem repetitive to me. Maybe, you know, he, he, he kind of didn't like it. But if we check over here, here's what the devs say. Now, the next thing before that, looks like EA Help now has a new ban suspicion information page. So we have more info on the anti-cheat. Hopefully this means they're taking anti-cheat more seriously and we can see we'll ban players who break our user agreement. Now, this is only a rumor so far, but the anti-cheat is taken away more seriously for sure. Jack Frax has said it. Every single YouTuber has said it on the platform that they're getting stream sniped, you know, that basically cheaters are not good for the game. So bye-bye cheaters. We're going to be getting a new anti-cheat system, which is going to be really fun. And if you're having trouble logging in or playing your games, you know, you'll also have the troubleshooting steps. And this will be important because, you know, now people can report, you know, people are skeptical about this because obviously the reports do work. I'm pretty sure DICE will have people working on it from what we are seeing, but a uh, bit pointless when most are from new accounts each time. After that account gets banned, they basically are, you know, have to buy a game for $60 yet again. So this is not going to happen. And if we check over here, you know, this actually exists now. So we can see DICE moving ahead and cracking down on hackers. Will ban players who break our user agreement? If you got a ban or suspension on your EA account for a specific game or a device you play on, we'll notify you via email. So it's really awesome that we're getting new news and it's only like 10 days left before we see what the redacted game mode is. If we check over here, the Battlefield 2042 Tornado is designed to inflict maximum damage and destruction. And this is what someone who basically leaked this information did most likely not like. And we saw this before, but it's very obvious as we saw the tornado in the gameplay that it infects a chaos. It basically inflicts a huge chaos for a lot of players and he probably stepped into the tornado and died. We don't know for sure what the tornadoes will be, but to me, they seem very exciting. The Battlefield 2042 tornado is just eye of the storm that the dice approach to next-gen destruction. And we can see the cycle of violence here. This is going to be the most sandlocks enabling Battlefield we had, says Berlin of Battlefield 2042's multiplayer. So, you know, you can do anything. You don't have to step into the tornado and get eaten alive. While the tornado is very much a threat that you'll need to remain keenly aware of during matches, then doesn't mean that more inventive or battlefield players won't be able to use it to their advantage. So that's what's really exciting. If you're struggling to capture a certain particular location and you see a tornado coming, you can see and try and move behind it. So that's the beauty of Battlefield 2042. And watch it as it picks everyone up. It just causes destruction with everything. It's really cool and it's really fun. Of course, Berlin also made it there are times where it's simply a good idea to avoid the tornado altogether and making those on ground both individually and collectively within your squad and team. It's part of strategic element that surrounds Battlefield 2042's weather events. For another example of this, Take Hourglass, the Quatar set map, which can become enveloped by a rolling sandstorm. So we already saw the rolling sandstorm, but there's going to be a lot more evolution than just simple tornadoes. And I think, you know, as someone doesn't like a tornado, maybe they'll like a sandstorm. Maybe they'll like a huge waterfall. Maybe they'll like 
the big Alps and snow falling down. That we shall see. You know, you have a lot of possibilities in the new Battlefield. And that's what I'm excited for. We've taken inspiration from a variety of previous Battlefield games to make sure our new massive maps are as dynamic and epic as they can possibly be. And they honestly put a lot of work into the new Battlefield maps. It's pretty obvious here. We can see that they have been working hard. And the Tornado may be a poster child for Battlefield 2042 then, but it's all the hard work DICE has done around this eye-catching selling point that should have really excited a long-time Battlefield players, especially those who have fallen out of love with the series over the recent iteration. So people will be coming back because of such revolution. They will be coming back to Battlefield after they left Battlefield 5. They will be back, and uh, this will probably be the most played game if EA is going all in on this. When the Battlefield open beta takes place later this year, by all means, go and have fun wingsuiting through the Eye of Tornado with your squad and enjoying the mayhem. And we can see here, these are the five maps that will be returning, talking about maps. Africa Harbor, these are only rumors right now, so Wake Island, Operation Metro, like, these are some beautiful maps that everyone remembers Battlefield for. Imagine playing Siege of Shanghai again. I'd, I'd honestly cry, you know? Caspian Border, like these are the best maps that have ever existed. And if we get them to play them again, I really wanna see that. I, you know, people will want to relieve the memories. That's why they'll buy the game. Seeing a modern iteration of Africa Harbor is gonna trip me out. Africa Harbor is my favorite Battlefield map. So those who have played all these Battlefield games before, either Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, or Battlefield 1942 with their grandma, the most important thing is people will be returning to the new Battlefield game, which is something I'm really excited for. But why aren't we receiving any news or trailer for Battlefield? Okay, I know they released a few updates and tweets, but the last trailer was over 28 days ago, and people are honestly very excited. You know, no commentary type of video like Battlefield 4. I kind of totally forgot about this game with no news on it. Dude, they literally said the next reveal will be July 22nd. So a new reveal is on July 22nd, so from what I've seen so far, that's uh, definitely, honestly, very exciting about the new game mode. I'm very excited about the Hazard Zone. Do let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite game mode, because I honestly read them. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.